that. Um, yeah, so look, I thought another good practice. Um, you know, took the shoulder pads off, shells on today. Uh, we'll be back in full pads again tomorrow. Um, but I thought we got a lot accomplished. We worked two minute today. Today was two minute at the end of the first half. I thought a lot of really good situations came up there. There'll be a lot of good stuff for us to uh, teach off of. Um, and so, look, we just keep coming out here, grinding away, and, and, and keep trying to get a little bit better every day. I think we're doing that. He had a pretty spirited finish in the two minute. Now, what do you think about the offensive execution? Um, yeah, look, I thought I thought overall, I thought the offensive execution was pretty good. Um, you know, we were able to get a couple of touchdowns, um, you know, offensively at the end of the first half. And again, there's 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 a lot that goes into that. It's not just about going and scoring touchdowns. It's trying to, you know, manage the game too. So uh, I thought offensively we did, um, you know, we did some good things. And yet I think there's some things that we've got to teach off of there that um, that could have negated our ability to score points in that situation so um, but yeah I thought I thought overall you know offensively I thought we executed pretty well in, the, in those situations and then Derek practices in, in what, that, I'm sorry yeah. well, Tim practices in what would you say you kind of learned about this team so, yeah, I know it's well look I, I think we're still building um, what this team is going to be but I do think that this team is, is going to be um, and we're going to have a tough, smart, competitive football team. I think that's, uh, I think that's evident. I think our, our guys that, uh, you know, are out here and they're they're competing. I think competing at a high level. Uh, they're pushing through the dog days of camp, um, and I think those things are going to pay benefits to us somewhere down the line. So um, that's what I'd say. I noticed out of our group. Derek seemed sharp in that two minute. How, how'd you feel like? Yeah, I thought, he, I thought he did well. I mean, look, if the offense does well, usually that means your quarterback's operating at a pretty high level, right? I mean, it's a two-minute drill. So, um, so yeah, I thought he uh, I thought he handled the situations pretty well. I thought he, he operated well. And, and I think, you know, the key for that is is having everybody be on the same page with what we're doing. And, and so, um, uh, in that regard, I thought I, I thought it was positive. How would you like that as? Still couldn't hear you. Yeah, yeah. Look, I mean, um, that's why these guys are out here. I think we had three false start penalties, you know, and so, um, uh, you know, those things are those those things are are, are costly, and so um, we've got to if we're going to utilize the snap count, um, then we have to be able to utilize the snap count. That means everybody's got to be disciplined and, and, and sit in there and. Um, not move until the ball moves, um, but a holding call on the, um, you know, on screen play in the in the two minute, you know, so, um, which put us back at first and twenty. We were able to overcome it, but you know, a lot of times those are those are, you know, killers on a drive. And in particular, when you're talking about the end of the first half, you know, when it's first and twenty, and and and, you know, we're obviously trying to score points, but we're also not trying to give the ball back to our opponent. That that becomes a a more, more challenging thing. So, um, the good news is, is, is we instructed the officials to put the flag on the field if they see it, um, so that when we go back in and we watch the tape, everybody sees the flag, everybody knows what the call was, and we get to evaluate. And the officials are in these meetings with us, and and you know we get to see and hear what they saw, why they called it, you know, and then. Sometimes there's some communication that they say, ah, you know, probably should let that one go. So, uh, but that's good to have that that back and forth communication with the officials. We'll have those guys, not the same crew, but we'll have officials back out here again uh, when we practice against the 49ers. So uh, that'll be uh, that'll be good. Um, <clears throat> well, look, he's out here competing every day. You know, um, he, he's done some things from a special team standpoint to to catch our eye, and so um, I think he's one of these guys that's you know battling for a roster spot, um, and 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 battling you know whether that be a roster spot on the 53, it'd be on the practice squad. I think that's where I think that's where he's at, and I think these preseason games will will go a long way into you know kind of dictating where that's at. 
would you, would you say that the offense, it, the understanding of the offense is where you hoped it would be 10 practices in? Are you, are you happy with where that, you know, sort of installation development is? Um, <clears throat> yeah, and I don't, you know, happy is probably the right word. Satisfied would not be the right word. You know, I think we're always pushing and striving to be better than we are right now, and, and, and I think we've got to keep pushing the envelope. You know, uh, I think we can't ever, you know, kind of settle and, 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 and feel like we've got it. You know, I think we've got to keep pressing the envelope. And once we feel like our guys have a pre pretty good grasp of what's going on, all right, well, how do we push them a little bit further? You know, how, how do we put something else on their plate? I want to see exactly how much they can handle. You know, it, th this is the time to find that stuff out. And so I think our offensive staff has done a good job of that. I think. You know, each and every day we, we, we've got a you know, a new little wrinkle, a new formation, a new motion, uh, a new play. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I think I'm encouraged by, you know, the progress that we're making and yet not satisfied yet with where we're at. This could be a false impression, but it seems like you guys are getting more work and practicing longer. Is that accurate maybe from back back home to here? Have you guys been able to do a little bit more? Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I'd say that's probably, you know, an accurate statement in that, you know, uh, you know, back home it's a little bit more challenging when you're having to deal with the heat and the and the humidity. It makes it a lot more difficult. Guys are, you know, instead of focusing on trying to get better at football, a lot of times they're they're a little bit in survival mode. And so uh, because of the weather here, we've, you know, I do feel like we've been able to push them a little bit harder for a little bit longer. Um, I wouldn't say it's – you know, leaps and bounds above what, you know, from a from a volume. Um, but I think our work's been more efficient out here. Uh, I think we've been much much more efficient with what we've been able to get accomplished, um, you know, in, in the time frame that we're allotted, you know, via the CBA rules. So, um, yeah, I think we're getting we're getting a lot accomplished. Is that like an advantage, especially when you are putting in like a, a new system? You can get maybe a couple extra periods, or maybe work a little bit faster, or not take as many. Periods. Yeah, look, I mean, I think every rep counts, you know, and and uh, so I think you know, in particular, when you're putting in a new offense and you got a lot of new pieces, a lot of new coaches, some new players, a new scheme, you know, uh, being able to get more volume and more reps. Um, you know, allows guys to get a little bit more comfortable um, with what they're being asked to do. And so, um, yeah, I think that's certainly beneficial, and, and, and in particular for for the offense and, and the new guys that we have. Yes, we didn't see uh, Pete Warner, Ben Turner, and Nathan Shepard. <clears throat> All those guys, uh, Pete Warner's got a shoulder, uh, Peyton Turner, toe, and uh, Nate Shepard, toe. How are you? Are you concerned about a player like Demario missing extended time? No, no. Um, you know, we've had conversations about. Look, you know, we've got some. We got some guys that were in. What was this practice nine? I think it was ten today. Yeah, that's. I mean, I, I lose count. So, um, I just know. Today was the day after yesterday and the day before tomorrow. You know, and that's really about what you know when you're in. When you're in training camp, um, but guys like Demario, no, I'm not. I'm not overly concerned. And I would, I'd be honest with you and say that, um, that Demario's situation is probably a lot more precautionary on our part, being that we are in training camp. Um, knowing Demario, um, if we were getting ready for a regular season game, I, I don't think that we'd be missing him out here. So I think part of that's us. And, and look, I think. We, we've got to judge that based on who the player is, you know, a young player that, you know, is dealing with, you know, some some soft tissue um, discomfort or um, issue. Um, th those guys really can't afford to miss a lot of time. You know, a guy like Demario has proven time and time again uh, that he can go out and function at a high level, and he's functioned at a high level you know, a lot of times, um, you know, with things like he has right now. Um, and so um, that's a long-winded answer to say that, 
you know, no, I'm not, I'm not concerned about that. Would a guy like Nick Saldaveri fit the bill of what you said, like a young Nick Saldaveri would be one of these young players that's trying to make the team, that's trying to prove that he belongs. Um, and so the missed time with a guy like that is, is, is critical missed time in his development, you know. And so um, every day that he misses is, is a day that he gets, you know, further and further behind. And that's just the... That's just, a, I would have hit him, but that's just the truth of it, you know what I mean? Um, and so, uh, but like, I mean, it is what it is. And so we've got to be able to, um, you know, change course and and, uh, and reevaluate where we're at. When, thank you. When are you going to start looking at the first preseason game as far as game plan, who you're playing, how much? Yeah, it'll be sometime, uh, you know, during this week. I mean, um, we're probably not going to um, divulge any information in terms of who's playing or when they're playing, so we'll kind of keep that in-house, but um, we'll have a squad out there. But we'll, we'll, we'll probably start looking at them. Uh, coaches probably sooner in the week, um, players not till the end. I mean, just from a concept perspective, with the new offense, is there a little bit more – value in those preseason reps this year than there might be more established Um Yeah, we'll see. I mean, look, I mean, we're getting a lot of good work out here, um, you know, and and uh, we'll see how much, you know, who plays and, and, and how much they play and when they play. Um, I think we'll, we'll handle that as coaching staff. Pinter's toe, is that the same issue you used in the last year? You know, um, I believe it's the same so, um, again, I, you know, I'm not going to get into severities or anything. Like, I'm not concerned about it right now. Um, and so, we'll see how we'll see how he responds to the treatment. Hopefully, it'll be sooner rather than later. Dennis, other guys who, who weren't in team drills: Taysom Hill, Tyron Matthew, Paulson, Abibo, Oliuda. Were those all scheduled? Uh, the only one that is injury related is uh, Adibo, and he came out here and tried to go. He's got a little bit of groin tightness, so. We held him today. The other guys are um, either vet days or, in Ole's case, a guy that's you know coming off an injury and, and part of our yeah. management plan for him. Mason Tiffin was a guy that has um, showed out a lot early. How do you think he's progressed now that the pads have come on? Yeah, look, I think he's still doing some good things. Um, and. Uh, I'm certainly not ready to put him in the Hall of Fame yet, um, but he is a guy that 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 we've we certainly noticed and and uh, uh, you know has has done some some good things and you know we'll put him in some preseason games and see how he reacts in those situations and and so I think every every day out here uh, for all these guys but in particular the the undrafted free agents every day is a valuable day every day is an important day and so. Um, these guys that, that, that come out here and, and, and do something each and every day that grab the attention of, you know, the coaching staff and, and, and personnel and those those people that are doing the evaluating, um, you know, that benefits these players. So, um, and he's he's a guy that's been able to do that. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, guys.